Unicorn Circuit. Welcome to the Unicorn Circuit, your weekly dose of... Fanking, is that even legal? Car news, conspiracy hat, cat, my town, story time, random eat bag, tinfoil cat hat, my crap car, and tinfoil hat cat. We are reliably coming to you every single week of How the did entire. You do that? What? How did you do did that? Did you see the little like buffering before? Because I had to think of them all. Did you remember that or did no, you read it? No, I just read it straight off the bat. You can read that over there? Okay. <laughs> can you really? <laughs> yeah, because I got my eyes lasered. Oh, that's right. They literally like top your eye open and then go. And then you can't see, it's a real weird feeling. And then this weird light. And then legitimately 10 minutes later, you can see. And it's it doesn't the craziest. Freak you out? Oh, they, oh give, they give you badly. Uh, you, you they out. give you benzos if you want. Well, they them, give you. They they tell you they do. They tell you they do. Oh, what do you mean? It's just but a it's, Mentos. I, I reckon it's just a Mentos. Oh right. Did it taste minty? Because that could have been one of the telltale All I styles. remember is is like talking a considerable amount of shite to the the laser dude because he'd had his eyes lasered before. So I'm like, okay, well if you're prepared to do it, then maybe I shouldn't be too scared of it. But I was scared of it because the bit where they flap your eye open. Oh. The, you eye you flap. can't see any yeah, eye flap Optic like that flap. fully greens me out like Optic flap game. and the whole world just disappears and all you can see is oh. lights and it's not a good feeling. There's eye drops constantly going in there and I'm like talking complete Ooh. shit, trying to like you know calm myself through oh, it. Stomach turning um, now because for ages I couldn't even get blood tests. Like I just fully weirded me out as well and then I eventually realised if I just talk shit, which <laughs> kind of what I do here. Um, I've taught you well. <laughs> That it'll be fine. So uh, the reason I could see is because I got my eyes lasered. Now, here's a... I'm dropping a bombshell. You ready for this? Before we even get into the news. Uh, you ready for this bombshell? Is this about the bread? Nah, dude. Oh, no, dude. No, that's it later. The, is it about the car? No, nah, that's Japanese later. No, car? the other car and the other car, later. The ones that I don't know the about. the tick, 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 boom? That's later. Really? Yeah, this is... About the engine? No, room? no, not that one. No, that's another bombshell. We'll go there. About the motorbike? The bombshell is, the entire time we made Mighty Car Mods, I wore glasses the whole time. Up until maybe two years ago. So for 14 years, Mighty Car Mods, glasses off. Because a few reasons. One, it's kind of dated because your glasses would change. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can also see the camera in the reflection. You can of see them. the camera in the reflection of them. Um, I think if you look at TRD Laser video when we drag raced that in 2008 or 9, I think I was wearing glasses at the drag strip. And I think that's, and one other time there was a set of glasses on the floor. So you just either take them off or eventually contact lenses or whatever. And then one day I'd always planned to get laser done, but my prescription had changed, not enough, whatever. And went and got it done and finally did it, best thing I did. And everyone who's done it says the same thing. They're like, oh, it was so good, I'm glad I did it. Maybe we also just cared as well, Martin. Like we all, like, like you look different when you get older. Look at this. My hair's changing. I've got no hair. There's a little bit less of it. Yeah. Same. I get a little extra grey furball in my beard every time someone <laughs> says something smart or dumb. <laughs> a furball? I don't know. It's I like think a, that's a, from an the, emotional furball. That's, oh, I thought that was from <laughs> or the, something. something else. Um, Martin. That's not, um, the, that's not a... I mean, look, that's not really a bombshell. There's a freaking bombshell coming, though. When are we going to talk about that one? I don't know now what you're talking about because it's none of the cars I thought tick, you were going to talk tick, about. Tick, tick. I'll tick tick in a minute. Um, the main channel, it's going bonkers. We've been so busy doing so many different things. There's been so the Brumby build going on. Actually, should we just get into the news? news. Is this Let's part of the, the news? news. Like, There's news. been so Start much news, going then. on. Uh, today, this is a Unicorn Circuit Mighty Car Mod special. The other show that we make. Oh, and sorry for anyone that's still here. Uh, Unicorn special, because so many of you, we've seen you asking about them, the Fat Nats. We're giving you an only unicorn discounts. These here are available on the Mighty Come On shop. I've got a drum kit set up on one of these. People are doing like electronics projects on them. They're doing all sorts of stuff. The code is FATCORN, one word, which is like fat and unicorn. F-A-T-C-O-R-N. Uh, and you will get 15% off a fat mat. The people that have got them absolutely love them. That will be a limited time. I'm going to call it one week or until there's none left. What do you call a Ford Fiesta that's run out of petrol? A Ford Slowesta? A Ford Siesta. News time. Welcome what to the news. Kind of car what? Does, what kind of car does a snake drive? Um, it doesn't. It flies. Nope. Two snakes on a plane. No. Is that what it's called? Is yeah. it called two snakes on a plane? A, what kind of car does a snake drive? No. I know. A Tarago. Do you know why? Why? I have no idea. And, and a Honda. Speaking of Hondas, we've got some Hondas to talk about. But that's later. You start. Go. 
Um, oh, what a feeling it's been. Let's just quickly chat about the Camry episode. A number of Two videos episodes. that came out on the Camry. Number one was the actual mega episode of the that Camry. Was so mega. You should do more of them. It took us months. So Rumby, you should do more of them. It took us months. We've been making those videos plus the normal videos. Sometimes we're going to give you a full buffet. Other times you're going to get a snack. That mm. is the nature of Mighty Car Mods. Uh, but when we went out for lunch, someone hit it, smashed it. That video went absolutely bonkers because we thought, you know what? Let's just go and say, you smashed my car. Uh, we did actually manage to sort that out. Plus, if you do want to see the car in action, you can check that out as part of Super Cheap Auto's new uh, oils campaign. The Camry was awesome. Since then though, you may have seen, if we've uploaded it, which we should have, the new video, back to making hatchbacks fast. You can get RS3s for pretty cheap now. Oh, that's a, that's a controversial statement. Compared RS3s, to their new price. Uh, that's better. RS3s, I'm going to say are not cheap, but I'm going to say in terms of what you get for your money, one of the best cars money can buy. With a bunch of simple mods, you like, can make their acceleration wow. supercar fast, which is why the video we called it something like supercar fast. Wasn't there, a time, or something. wasn't there a time when like two 2020 STIs were selling for roughly the same as RS3s? Like, More. No, they went up to like 100 grand. They did for a yes. bit because everyone's like, oh, it's the last one. And oh, you can't buy Subarus because of COVID, whatever. But how much car you get yes. for an, in an RS3 yeah. and a five cylinder, which makes it cool, I reckon, and turbo, and that gearbox, which just shaves a second or two seconds off your drag mile time. It just does. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's better value if you're spending that kind of money. Is it, can you get something that you'll have as much fun with for 10 grand? Yes, but yes. it'll be heaps slower. Absolutely. Yeah. Heaps Absolutely. slower. It's just fast. Um, but anyway, week. it was a video that we that was part of our kind of how to modify series. So we've got the how to modify the Golf GTI. We're trying to make kind of one video that covers the stuff that most people want to do. I right. know someone out there is like, you should just E85 at big turbo strip it and send it down the court. And that's awesome, but uh, not everyone wants to do that. And so we're trying to kind of encapsulate and funnel in what we think most people are going to do. It's and a bit also, simpler than normal, but we think it actually is going to appeal to people that don't know much about modifying and we're trying to make that it's kind that's of simple true. again. And also because YouTube's kind of flooded with people going, the ultimate guide of how to do a thing. And then there's 20 minutes of them eating noodles and talking oh, about the, the ones they didn't actually do or they're going to do or their friend did. And oh, surprise, like, should I buy, my, my least favorite, should I buy these wheels? And it's someone showing on their screen some wheels. And then at the end, oh, no, I didn't buy Surprise. them. I like, and then I checked the comments. Did you end up buying them? Did they fit? And they replied, oh, no, I sold that car two years ago. Yeah, OK. Anyway. A bit more uh, of a reference, like an informative reference. Yes. Because we, we like to share information. That's right. Um, anyway, that's the RS3 Martin. Coming up uh, next, though, uh, there's a new little series kicking off. Uh, one of mine. One of my projects, so that's going to be hitting your eyeball soon, uh, and um, that is uh, Bellissimo. It's a, it's really, it's I'm like really, really ultimate. excited. Is it like your ultimate? Yeah, yeah, Does it, it is. Does it just twizzle your whistle like more it, than It twizzles anything? the nips every, every angle oh, at yeah. once. It's so good. We may have had a technical failure with the gerbil sucking the microphone off Martin's face. <laughs> but now we're back Didn't and we're talking it. about... We're talking about Brumbies and Camrys and one episode and the details. Interestingly, because the Brumby and Camry came out around the same time, but also were being done around the same time. So we had two deadlines for both cars at the same time. The Camry had to be in Queensland to be shot and the Brumby needed to be finished so we could do engineering and kick off a whole bunch of other stuff. All happening around the same time. So we're literally going, you know, doing a bit of stuff in Mighty Carmels and going over to Super Garage and doing a bit of stuff and then going back again, back and forth. And then those videos came out and the Brumby was a series and then the Camry came out. Two very different ways of doing the same thing. Brumby could have been one episode. Mm. 45 minutes. The amount of detail you lose because there's so much custom stuff. So much. Camry lends itself a bit more towards one episode because even though our kit didn't fit, the kit would have made it even easier and quicker if everything just like plugged in and bolted on. But as you saw, it uh, didn't happen that way. But it still felt like it's a cool one just to go full start to finish. I actually think I really enjoy doing both. Yeah. I really enjoy editing both. I'd happily make a 10-hour video on how to turbo a mirror. Would anyone watch it? I reckon five of my mates would. Well, you know what? I think that's the thing. Unlike TV on platforms like this, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you can do ten one-minute videos. You can do hour videos. I mean, our videos that we do that are uh, an hour long, um, they wouldn't fit within like a TV hour once they put their ads and stuff on there. Like they just like because it's only forty minutes in one hour because the rest of it's ads. Exactly. And okay, so yes, there's YouTube, YouTube ads, and so that lends me that brings me into the next topic, which I know a lot of people think about is going the algorithm. 
I don't spend a lot of my time worrying about that sort of thing. But what I do know that's different from when we started Mighty Car Mods is that once upon a time, subscribers got shown the video. Now you can be subscribed to Mighty Car Mods or whoever, whatever you watch. Even the bell on. But you YouTube may not tell you because it's decided you're probably going to watch something else. And you know what? It's a smart AI robot. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's going to float. You might be the biggest Camry enthusiast in the entire world, love turbo Camrys, and never know that our turbo Camry video exists. Which is why, if you see something that you really like, just tell your mates. Share it. Because that kind of bypasses the whole world just becoming a robot feed of, of grey stuff that, oh, you only like Macca's chips and you only like this, so you yeah, only get that. Because sometimes that variety is the spice of life. And so occasionally I'll love to just fully log out of everything and, you know, incognito window and then go to YouTube or go to some of that and just see what it's going to serve up. And I know it probably knows my IP or whatever and knows who I am, but it still does sometimes shift it a bit. And I noticed a button on there the other day that said, are you happy with your feed? I'm like, nah. And it went bang to a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, right. So it's worth it's worth thinking about. Yeah. I think as well, like on the main channel of Mighty Car Mods, you pretty much know what you're going to get. You're walking into that restaurant. This one, this channel, MCM TV 2, it's a bit looser. There's a variety totally. of different stuff. Sometimes there's not car stuff. Um, in fact, there's a film that's coming up soon oh. um, that I made that is uh, kind of no, actually nothing to do with cars. Not car mods. Um, just not car mods at all. Um, and just a bit of like a journey that I've been going through. Bit of a tough time, a bit of a thing. And I thought for a long time about whether I would kind of share that or not. And I had a chat with Martin here and I uh, have decided to put it up. So that will... Right. That will be up at some point but if you see something on this channel and you see the thumbnail and you're like that doesn't look like a car thing you'll know why is it time to talk about the noise, tick tick boom the tick tick boom yeah martin let's um martin uh i want to show you a clip i want to show you a clip some people picked something in in one of our videos we did not that long it ago they said nose. they said well they might have but then they also said at 18 minutes did i hear something and i heard something but i wasn't sure Okay, the Lavorg the engine has a noise. Tick, tick, boom. It's making a noise. Now, it's not a rod knock, as far as we can tell. It's got good oil pressure. It works, it drives, all that and sort of stuff. And makes power. And makes a ton of power. So I thought, when the power... I'll rewind a little bit. The power steering pump blew up. That's like a red herring for me because it was making all this noise. And so when we're doing first start and when we're doing you know cranking and getting oil pressure, and all the vitals are good. But the, the um, power steering pump, we just got a crappy one and it died. So before the dyno, you might remember I put a new power steering pump on it. So I've gone tick, power steering pump is good, but it's, 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 it's not bled, so it's going to make noise. So I'm listening for that. What I didn't hear is that somewhere else in the engine, there was a noise. Tick, tick, boom. So none of us really picked it. We dynoed it. Dynos are noisy places. It made great power. It drove amazingly well. But then I kind of every now and then I'd just be like, am I hearing this or am I imagining it? Now, my Tudor STI blew up at the track whatever reason tick, tick, that rod was very clearly rod knock that got worse so fast as in like i brought it back from the track on a tow truck i moved it to go and put on the hoist and see what was going up and the very next time i started it five times louder i started it one time after that to move it back because i didn't have a chance to actually i didn't have an engine to put in it yet 10 times worse so the Lavorg just stayed the same the whole time. So there was heaps of theories back and forth about what it was and what's wrong with it um i filmed a bunch of stuff on that and i think i'll try and we're going to try and find a, out what's wrong with it, though, is yeah. the point of it, and that will be coming up soon. I know yeah. a lot of people are like, when's this? When's the Gemini happening? When's the thing happening? Um, we don't know, is the short version. We could give you a date, um, but, um, but it's not, not happening anytime soon. But we will let you know, and we will get on here to the Unicorn, uh, where we know that the real, like the proper, legit 38 fans are, and we will let you know. If we haven't said the Gemini is coming, it's not coming, yeah. so you don't need to ask. But it's absolutely in planning phases. But to give it an example, this might help clear it up a bit. So as we're turboing the Camry and the stuff we got didn't fit, we're also doing the Brumby, which has to go through a bunch of engineering stuff, which is a huge job. RS3. At the same time, RS3. At the same time as that, my RX7, like the vacuum tank and the boost tank on it, just, just snap, I opened the bonnet once, it just snapped off, so that doesn't work. Yep. Um, my mirror, I'm doing like an EFI swap on, so that doesn't work. The Lavorg engine noise, so I didn't want to drive it anymore before I investigated it properly. So we're looking at like six projects here, all in the go at once, and all of them not working 100%. And I think four of them... So there's four other cars that have been purchased that are in planning stages that we haven't started on yet mm. because we kind of went, let's do these first, um, which you'll hear about excellent, them soon. Like as well. excellent problem to have, and the, I'm so enthusiastic about, uh, enthusiastic about all of them. Uh, so I just we're just working on whenever we get the chance. And there's a huge one, another one coming up, which we haven't even mentioned here. Another one coming up that is working but not properly working because it's leaking stuff. But the second that works, that's going on the dyno, and then we're going to get that video up and out into the world. So. Yes. 
Ooh. I think that one's going to be excellent, according to you, Martin. Why do chicken coops only have two doors? I reckon, Martin, because you need to put one arm through this door and then you need to put one arm through that door. It's a metaphor. And the chicken neck is in the middle. If they had four doors, they'd be chicken sedans. Is that even legal? Every week on Is That Even what Legal, we try and explore different parts of the world and see what laws make them interesting. This week we're going to, to Capri, a car? which apparently is not a Ford Capri. It's an actual place what in the world to that's obviously car named after the Ford Capri. When it break, no. And they don't like having dog poo around the place. What no one likes having dog poo around. And that is why I'm towed. finding it very difficult to concentrate. Um, Martin, do you like DNA? What happens? Yes. What happens Martin, to Martin, do you like dogs? Yes, what happens to a frog's car when it gets Do you breakdown? like 2,000 euros? Yes. What well, you won't like 2,000 euros if your dog hangs a turd <laughs> on the streets of Capri <laughs> because the police there will trace the DNA of that turd and they will find the owner and find them 2,000 euros. Oh, the Isle of Martin? Capri? Yes. I've been there. Have you? Yeah. Did they to DNA a beach, your turd? The beach was full of rocks. It was full of rocks. Hey, Martin, what happens to a frog's how, car when it breaks how down? How can they DNA a dog's turd without having that DNA's dog's turd on file? Because you could, you could, however you do the DNA, once you get a match, how do you know which dog is the owner of it? Oh, they know because when they gave the dog's COVID vaccine, it 5G'd to the thing and now they have it on record. Oh my God, really? Yeah, and Bill Gates did it. Is this conspiracy hat cap? Sure. Are we even at that point yet? What happens to a frog's car when it breaks now, down? At, well, we are at tinfoil what hat cap. What happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? Tell us in the next section. This is tinfoil hat cap. What happens Every to a week frog's on tinfoil hat cat, <laughs> Martin takes Just let me through finish some the conspiracies. Joke. What happens this to a week? frog's car when it breaks down? It gets towed. <laughs> I don't know if we've discussed this before, but did you ever see the documentary at school about the toads? The people that boiled them? Boiled them? Oh, maybe I shouldn't talk about that. No. That no, I mean, they made me watch it at school. Really? So this is, let's just Yeah, but wasn't that like the 90s or something? Uh, at least. Uh, no, no, so people used to, um, they'd, um, uh, people, people who uh, uh, were into um, uh, hallucinogens sure. oh, would, you'd lick a toad. Would, would excrete stuff from a toad. Um, oh. And anyway, they might as well make a documentary about it. Uh, we're in New South Wales, I don't think there's cane toads anyway. They're coming though. Um, they're, they're marching why? down. I mean, do frogs march? They go, why go, can't, go, 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 they march down. Why can't motorcycles hold themselves up? Martin, because they've only got two wheels. They're too tired. Okay. Why? Why did you? Why have you done this? To done us? what? All this horribleness. Oh, because it's automotive humour. Like we need a bit of automotive humour when all your cars are broken. I haven't been slapped either. some auto automotive humour. What's your conspiracy hat, hat cat. cat? This week, we're talking about smells. Smells, the officultory centre of the brain. Or factory. Uh, I don't. No, you can't say that. Because it what? has the word factory in it. it. makes me feel weird. Can't say, oh, you don't like the word factory and submarine. No. No, what's the other one? Uh, moist seagull. Moist seagull. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a factory. Remember that moist seagull that you punched? Because it <laughs> took your burger? What a bastard. No, I threw the burger at it. Oh, that's right. But that's kind of dumb because burger then it gate. just... Yeah, but then it just ended up with more burger and all its mates yeah. got a burger too. So it caught one for the team. Yeah. A burger in the back of the head. Yeah. And then um, all his mates like... Ah, 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 and then the, I've seen you grow, I've seen, there's two or three times yeah. I've seen you very angry, Martin. One of them, <laughs> Seagull taking your burger yeah, after waiting that. 40 minutes oh, for it. Man. Number two, someone smashing the camera oh, yeah. and us having to go down Wasn't there. Happy. Uh, and number three, uh, probably at some point throughout the rest of this episode. Uh, Martin, uh -oh. smells from the offal tree centre of the brain can bring us to act in certain kinds of ways. And this is something that is used by retail outlets. One of those is uh, Subway. People say they like the smell of the bread. The conspiracy is that the smell is not actually coming from the bread. What? It's either a fake smell that is getting pumped into the street to victims of the bread effect, or the ovens are designed in a way to specifically vent out the bread stench mm. to the public to try and advertise their brand. Martin, what do you think? 
I mean, so, these are marketing people. I wouldn't put anything past them, so to be honest. So Subway have specialty ovens just for making the bread. If you've ever been there, you've probably seen they like they just fit the sub things in there and the person a bit cranky takes it out and chops it and throws it back in for the next time. Sometimes. So so um so the bread is actually delivered to Subway frozen. This is all allegedly, I've no idea, but yeah. uh, from my very and there's heaps extensive of sugar in it, right? research, I don't know if it's, it's got like sugar. It's not in. even bread, it's a sweet or nah, something. No, that's allegedly. I think that's some other restaurant with the dirty clown. Um allegedly. <laughs> Uh, so the bread is delivered to Subway frozen. This is for consistency. So these big fast food people, uh, big fast food companies, they can't cons make it consistency is key. If you have someone in the back mixing up the dough and they get it even slightly wrong and then 10 or 100 customers if go there that day and go, just decide that it's shite, then they will never go back and you lose a customer. Whereas if you can get Subway in Australia and then North America and Canada you and New Zealand, you everywhere. want it to be the same. So when they do have a bread supply, scale, scale, scale. in this case, scale, scales everything, they deliver into them in little like frozen slivers and then they have to like thaw out, so and it gets to a certain temperature where the yeast can activate and it can, uh, what's it called, proof? Proofing's yes. when it like yeah, puffs yeah. up, right? Yeah. Then it's got to go in the oven, then it has to cool for a certain amount of time. So some Subway restaurants have been known for running out of bread. And people go, well, how can you run out of bread? Because it is actually, you know, the bake, baked fresh in the thing. But Martin, if they run out of bread, why is there still bread smell getting pumped out? That's the question. Why? So, we used to have these stores called Daryl Lee and they made licorice and chocolate. I really liked them and they still would exist. always have, uh, I don't know if the stores exist, Sorry, the, the stores don't exist. exist. The factory still exists, um, I know, because there's a seconds and you can go in there and get factory seconds. It all tastes good. Eight bucks, you can get like 14 kilos of like chocolate. Do things. you like licorice though? I love all sweets, but I don't eat yeah. them too much because I'll um, anyway, take up too much. Anyway, I remember space. going into one of the stores and going, man, it's that really aniseed licorice smell. And I may have told this story, I reached out to get a bag of licorice because I like it. And my hand slipped and went into some goo, some like... In the shop. Into, yeah, into the shop. And it was underneath the shelf, like, and I, oh, some kind of pre-licorice like goo. Under the fat mat, like... Yeah. And then I went, oh, I could... S my fingers were glistening at this point. So I sniffed them. Why'd you sniff them? I, I always do. <laughs> so I could tell my off our tree centre what was going on. Factory. But what was going on when I inserted the fingers into my brain factory, it smelt... Exactly like the licorice, but it was liquid. Oh. So I reckon, in my experience, they'd been putting that stuff there to try and make us go, oh, it smells like licorice. Because the licorice is in a sealed bag. So they if have it smell can come out, a bread it can vape. come in. They've got a bread vape. You know, you walk past someone vaping, and sometimes it smells really good, and sometimes it smells really bad. It's <laughs> like bread vape. Yeah. Yep, that could be it. And it's designed to make you want to eat a sandwich. That's right, because your olfactory centre says, hey, you know what, it's time for food. Now, some people have gone undercover and tried to interview the staff and said, hey, did you know that you're doing this? And they don't know. And the theory goes one step deeper, and that is that there's something in the smell that causes the memories of the staff members to forget what they're doing, like a bzz, look into here so that you can't remember it, so that they don't even know that what they're doing is wrong. When I worked at Domino's, uh, we did make the dough. Uh, this was years ago, but we did make the dough, and it came in like big bags, and it was a giant mixer, and it had to be all mixed up. But to is a it very true specific. That Supreme Pizza is just the stuff off, off the floor. No, okay. um, you had to you had to mix it up to a certain amount of time, and then turn them into little balls, and then people would like stretch the balls out on the thing, and then is it you. True would... that calzone is just a pizza that you're wrapping. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and so we had to actually make the make the dough ourselves, um, and that had a very specific smell, and. Now, if I smell that, I, I, I can't handle it, eh? Oh, you, I thought you so only delivered stinky. pizzas. I delivered pizzas, but your job when you weren't delivering was to clean. So you'd wash old used pizza, um, like the dishes that they baked them in. Yep. And, um, and the best hack was to, of course, make your own pizza. And my goodness, could you make an, a freaking amazing pizza with all, like you could just, you could put whatever you want on it. Yep. Then you put it through the eight minute oven. Then you get a big stick. I've, I swear I've told this story before. And you push it back for another three. Oh, another few minutes. Oh, dude. Because they're not in, you're not in a rush. Martin, it's not fast I food. Am going it's to slow try. food. Straight into my Gemini. Wah, bah, bah, bah. Four speed. Couldn't go to fifth. Didn't need to. I'm going to try a social media experiment. Dear Domino's, we'd like to eat one of your pizzas on the show. Make us a pizza and bring it to us, <laughs> and we'll eat it. Not like right now, but next episode. Someone at Domino's on the social medias now is tagging. Look at these clowns on the internet. Talking about Domino's. But we'll eat one of your pizzas. Get in touch with us. We're not telling you how. You have to work it out. And if you don't get back to us by next episode, we'll be contacting one of your competitors and see if they will do it. And whoever actually does it, and whoever actually corresponds in a way that involves me getting my free $5.95 pizza, 
Uh, I will say here on the show, they did it. Dude, I could put like a little domino sticker on the back windscreen of my Gemini because I used to have a Gemini. They have to pay for that. Yeah, but then they could pay for the paint because yeah. the paint's like 10 um, And pay for the paint. It's and so pay <laughs> to fix the paint on Marty's... No, let's start, let's start with a pizza. <laughs> start with a pizza. A pizza here to the Unicorn Circuit set in Sydney. Next episode, get in touch. We're not telling you how. Details in the description. We're not telling you how. But <laughs> someone in marketing, someone who works there, someone who does it, I just want to see if you can do it. And if you can't, we'll go get a pizza There's from no need else. to call on that. Anyway, I think it's time oh, for thanking. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. Today, we're just kicking right into it. we got four thanks. Let's just go right into it. Boom, right here, Martin. Oh, oh magic. nice. Look at that. Body That's wash. That's good. That's a good one. It's Shea Butter. Who is she? I don't know. Oh. Martin, squeaky bean. <laughs> vegan. That looks quite. Not vegan. The idea of. <laughs> Technically not vegan. Oh. <laughs> you are oh. disgusting. Uh, thank of the week. <laughs> 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 Bank of the week. There it is. Bitter anal. Oh. Um, and oh. in fact, Martin, we've got two thanks of the week. Why do we always do thanks of the week? You know, the whole idea is to have one thank of the week. It's the best one. Not you all get a prize. Okay. But let's give them the drama oh, no, on no, you. Ready? That's, okay, fine. No, no, Bitter thank of the week. Anal? No, you don't have no, thank no, of the week no, no, anymore. No, 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 thank of the week. You get nothing. What? Now it's thank of the week. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. It's very good. Well done. If you'd like to send us your thanks, you can wow. put them onto the thanking Facebook group. There's a community group up there. We would Nature's love to see finest. them. Marty, I do believe now uh, it's time for um, uh, I, look, mailbag. There's been, there is something there. There's, there's been a, a small shortage of my town. I'd love to see a my town. I'd love to see a my town. Bonus points if it's a country town. I love seeing these country towns. Whatever country it can be in, but Come a country town of your country. Come Australia for all we Anywhere. Country town Australia. Do you know what I want to see? I want to see your local Chinese restaurant. I want you to go in there and go, show us your honey prawn. Yep. And just get them to cook it up. Make yep. it for you. Sounds great. I was about Can't to say, I'm going to try and shout everybody some well, Chinese that's, in their that's local totally town. That's not going to work. Uh, not a great idea, considering uh, the minimal revenue that this show brings in. Uh, it's kind of... Um, I wouldn't be able to do it. We're paying to do this, aren't we? Dude, what did I say to get cut off? I don't like, know. I, got probably, I think like, we may have had some more technical some, difficulties and it on also this professional just show. Cut off like something I said. It was something I said, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm pretty excited about our back? free Domino's pizza. Is this smell bad? Because if a Domino's pizza costs five ninety five, I don't know what their cost price would That's be. That's for a tradition. All they've got to do is send us a pizza, and they get a shout out on the world's best unicorn. Well, they've show. already had a shout out because I always talk about working for. No, them. no, but 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 we but no, it's that's it's we, we need to see if they're connected to the people. Are we, we, have, we have to a the... young audience. <laughs> Do we? We have a young audience that cares about nutrition, <laughs> and, and by nutrition I mean beers and pizza. Oh yeah. I just want to see if they're out there. Yeah. If someone's like, you know what, I'm willing to make the connection between that person and the pizza because it's easy to go, yeah, we'll do it, and then you don't. And you know what? Well, if we do get an email, we should screenshot it. Yeah, yeah. Don't. And we'll do a post that says. We can't won't believe. say your name if you don't want your name. No, on no, we won't put your name. We're just going to be like Domino's emailed us. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next episode will be called Domino's emailed us. Um, oh, yeah, this cool. here, this is from Dude, that's your writing. Keelan. That Open looks so here. much like your it's writing. It's not my writing. Uh, this has been sent to the Unicorn Circuit. PO Box 475, Sydney Markets, New South Wales, Mailbag. 2129. Mailbag's I reckon that's a girl's best. writing. Mailbag's See just that? the best. Looks like girl's writing. Because it's neat. Oh, look, it's got a little smiley person on the top. Oh. Uh, open here, letter inside. So, oh, here we go. Whoop. And... What's this for? Ooh. That's a cool letter. Hey, Marty and Moog, my husband and I have been long time watchers. You guys never cease to make us smile, and whenever that goat pick shows in our feeds, it's the first thing we watch when we get home. Thank you very much. I'm the glad you like pick. that, Lexi. The, the, the feature films are epic. Since you're now also the best four-wheel driving channel on YouTube, your words. Your words. No, we not, didn't say it. Not ours. We never said uh, it. It's right. Uh, yeah, I figured right. it deserved a moment to shine. Or, in reality, to get mudded. That's what the pros do, right? Anyway, enjoy this silly poster that I had a blast drawing. Drawing. I love when people make stuff. I'm very excited. Thanks for all the lols and keep them coming. Also, we'd love to see you guys do a Canberra meet one day, Lexi and Matt. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a goat on this mountain. 
You are going to see what Lexi drew as we see it. <coughs> oh, that is that so is sick. Unreal. That is so sick. What's the what's that mean? Absolutely love the it. It's got as claimed by <laughs> <laughs> Asterix. The best four drive channel on YouTube. Asterix as claimed by Mook. It's true. All 38 of you. Super cheap Gordo. All 38 of you. Bog water brewing. <laughs> Thank you. So I love that. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you sick. very much. I have to it's cough. the mud box, dude. <laughs> We're back again after another edit. I was so excited about this picture. I was just losing you my mind. Choked on your own neck. I did. You better, actually better know than choking on someone else's did neck. Imagine <laughs> that. You know, when, you're, when you're choking, you're act, when you're coughing, you're actually choking on your own neck. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> thank you very this much. This is freaking unreal. Uh, thank I you. I absolutely love it. It's going this straight is, to the pool room. And we can put that in our You know what it should go next to? It What's should go it? next to this poster that we're never ever going to sell because it's embarrassing but also kind of epic as well. Look at that absolute unit. Pierce, it's for sales. Does anyone want it? <laughs> now look, look. I mean, look, when I it's was a kid, excellent photo. when I was a kid, I had a picture on my wall of a flying oh, a DeLorean. A flying DeLorean. No, a flying DeLorean. Back to the Future, they're all like the, timed up with its power circuits on, ready to go to 1980, whatever. Um, I can't imagine someone putting this up in their room being like, Whoa. One day. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, someone with chlamydia would. <laughs> a koala. What? It's good transport for a koala, family yeah. of them, because it gets into the bush. <laughs> let's eat, <laughs> let's uh, eat out the bag. <laughs> Every week on the Unicorn Circuit, we like to eat out the bag. And this week, eat the f eat the unicorn food, taste the magic. Who gave us this bag? Do you remember? She was at Bathurst. No, but where are you now? Where are that you, you now? Need, that I need you. Where are you uh, now? Anyway, Martin, this week, we've got ourselves... I oh, yeah. This is, and I'm Korean. Actually, I'm ready to go, so let's just move it on a little bit. Why is that in Martin, there? Martin, here's a... Oh, see, that smells. Uh, it's a sweet strawberry treat. That there is the exact, it's a Cheeto that tastes like strawberries. And actually, it's okay. Is it though? No. On the third bite, it's not. It's kind of like, no. That's the oh, show. It's got the spiciest like aftertaste, We hope it? you liked it. I'm Thank going again Thank you, Lexi, for sending that in. There's lots of videos coming out on the main channel. Check them out. Put in the code fat corn oh. for 15% off one of these. Mm, I'm good. Um, and... If anyone is still here of those 38 viewers, there is a video coming out that doesn't have anything to do with cars. Tell um, us your best car joke out. in the comments. Can you top mine? Yeah. What kind of car does a snake drive and a Honda? What? Okay, I just <laughs> made this up. What is a musician's favourite car? Uh, Honda uh, Accordion. Oh. Okay, um, so I asked AI to tell me a funny joke about a Honda and a Daihatsu, and it's 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 why did the Daihatsu and the Honda start a comedy club? Because they yeah, wanted to true. have a joke of Palooza and rev up some laughter on the road. Like this is that like sell your shares in AI people. Like seriously, why why did the Daihatsu challenge the Honda to a race? Why did the why did the Honda and Daihatsu go to a stand-up comedy show?